Experience is something you can't get from nothing. Good evening, everyone. I, Srishti Sangar, am privileged to introduce our guest for the evening, Mr. Anand Indulkar, Head Human Resources with St. Gobain, India. Mr. Anand is a BCom graduate who has a master degree in personal management from Pune University. He was a keen student of psychology and holds a diploma in transaction analysis for OD from South Asia Association for TA. Mr. Anand has over two decades of work experience in HR, major part of which is in manufacturing sector. Sir's working tenure is broadly divided into four segments, which are factory HR, sales HR partner, corporate HR, and heading the function. Sir has worked with organizations like EMERC, Vista Processed Foods, Indofil Chemicals, Birla Sun Life, Immersion and Verorat Plains, holding various positions in areas mentioned above. During his tenure, apart from his regular work, Mr. Anand had an opportunity to do something interesting, work in the areas of developing and facilitating training workshops by being part of visioning strategy workshops at various organizations. Culture diagnosis and driving culture change and designing and facilitating in house of assessment centers. Mr. Anand believes that each one of us has an opportunity to make a positive difference to this world and also believes that people can be magical if they work correctly. We are extremely glad to have you, sir. And the stage is all yours. Yes, so possibly I'll be ordering now. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Great. 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 So, I Yes, friends. So, uh, so amazing, I would say, in the amongst all of you. So many students, so many curious and uh, enthusiastic places, right? So, this is what, uh, how many days have you spent here? One month. One month. One month. Okay, a lot of fellow graduates and students come into the right? Yes, sir. Yeah? Great. And all of you are looking forward. On a very, very, very interesting topic, right? Yes, sir. Great. So, friends, uh, I'm sure you must have been going through a lot of series of interventions uh, okay, in the last uh, one month or so. Right? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk about something, some very, very simple things, which, which I think are very, very important. Uh, I'm sure all of you are keeping an eye on what's happening in the business, right? What is happening in the economy, right? I'm sure you all must have studied very, very hard. Come in your, your exams, your entrance, personal interviews, all those things. A lot of things have happened, right? Yeah. But uh, I believe that uh, what is also very, very important is being yourself. Yeah? Everybody with me? Yes. Yes. Being yourself and not only being yourself, but celebrating being yourself. Correct? Yes. Sometimes I experience in uh, being a human resources professional. I feel uh, we become so carried away in the business, in the targets, and you know, competition that we all tend to lose connect with our own self. Correct? Yeah, so today I thought, let me talk something which is very interesting, which has, uh, which I have found very beneficial for myself, and I thought it would be worthwhile sharing with Right? Yeah? So, let me start with a story. All of us like listening to stories? Yes, yes sir. Uh, everybody is with me? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So, you know, when I was young, unlike all you guys, we had no TVs. And I had no TV until the time I was in the age And we all, uh, for us, the source of entertainment was stories. Stories which my father used to tell most of the time. And as I started growing, I used to find the stories very entertaining. But at the same time, when I started growing up, I used to find the stories very But later on, Later on, when I actually started using Hello. 
Yeah. Later on, when I started uh, understanding, getting deeper into the stories, I thought all well, these stories have a lot of philosophy in life. Yeah. And I'm going to share one such story which my father used to tell me. Uh, okay, it's a story about uh, four blind friends. Okay, anybody heard this story? Four blind friends walking in the jungle. No? So, very good. Uh, so, four blind friends, they're fast friends, and these are old times, you know, some thousand years back. So, that time the cities rarely existed, and most of the people stayed in the jungle. So, these four friends are walking into a jungle and uh, they come across an elephant, right? And these guys have never seen the elephant. So they come and they bump into the elephant. And of course they can't see, so they don't know what this is. So one of the friends, he bumps into the leg of the elephant, right? So he says, wow, yeah, this animal is huge. It's almost like a tree trunk. Another friend bumps into the ear of the elephant. Yeah, and he says, wow, this is like a fan. Right? Okay. Another friend bumps into the trunk of the elephant. And he says, man, what are you saying? This is almost like a python. Man, this is so flexible and so, uh, you know, different. Another friend bumps into the tail of the elephant and he says, what are you talking about? This animal is like a small snake. What are you talking about? All of them start fighting. All the four of them start fighting. Each one says that this is what is the reality. Yeah? This is what is the reality and uh, this is what is my experience. They all start fighting and there walks a wise man of the village. Okay, and uh, he sees all these four people fighting and uh, it takes him out. It takes him a while and he figures out that, oh, these people are fighting because you know, they've got only the part of the elephant. And he stops them and he says, Hello friends, listen, why are you fighting? And he gets the story and he says, okay. He says, all of y'all are right and all of y'all are wrong. He says, what are you talking? Wise man, we understand you are wise, but uh, you know, we are not as wise as you and we are not here to be philosophical. This is real. This is how the animal is. These three people are bad. Everyone is saying that. He says, all of y'all are right and all of y'all are wrong. And I tell you, and he, what he does, he makes each friend touch every part of the elephant, right? And he, he makes them understand that this is the entire elephant. Okay, and then they say, you know, they kind of tube like chamakka hai, and then he says, wow, the, all the friends says, wow. I mean, we were so close to reality, but so far from it, right? The reason behind telling you all this story is I found this story very stupid when I was when my father told me as a boy there. I said, Have you that? But when I started growing up, when I started uh, looking at life, I realized that many times I am like that kind man. Right? When we do inductions in our uh, organizations, people come from various functions. Yeah? Inductions we do in the organizations also to acclimatize the new employees to the organization. The organization, the, the, the employees, look at very fu every function very differently. For them, it's the ear of the elephant, it's the leg of the elephant, it's the trunk of the elephant. They, they don't figure out the entire elephant and for them, the organization okay, is just a part of the elephant. So, similar to that, I feel the induction is a very, very important activity. So all of us here are trying to come and show you different sides of the corporate. Yeah? So, so I told you this story because this induction is so, so very important. All of us who will come here and share our experiences 
We are only trying to show you the entire part of the portrait. Yeah? Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's start. Now, I want to, I'll be asking you all a lot of questions, right? It's not going to be a monologue. It's going to be a dialogue. So, I'll be asking you all a lot of questions because I'm going to be talking about you as an individual. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about me as an individual and I'll be inviting you to think about yourself as an individual. Yeah? Okay. So, I'll start with another story. Okay. I'll start with another story. This story is about one of my close friends. Right? Okay, so this is a story about a close friend of mine who has, I mean, these are the little bit of glimpses which I'm going to give you about her life. It's a lady, so it's about her life. And then I'll ask all of you a question. Okay, now, this story is about a girl born in a very, very humble family. Okay, uh, very humble parents. Okay. With great difficulty, they managed to put her in a school, in a good school, fairly decent school. Okay. She is the first child of the generation. Okay, what does that mean? First child of the generation. Lot of celebrations. Yeah. Anybody here? First child of the generation? Some of you. Yeah, so you, you understand what I'm saying. Lot of celebration, lot of uh, a <coughs> lot of war. Yeah. But with that also comes Lord of Arjata. A lord of domination, a lord of expectation and attention. Yeah? So it can get a little burdening sometimes. Correct? Yeah, so that's what happened with her. Fortunately or unfortunately, the girl was very, very sensitive. Very sensitive person. If you say it, it's bad. It's bad. Okay? And uh, family, like many of our Indian families, emotionally not literate. Yeah? All the people, I'm sure here have seen uh, Three Idiots. Yes, yeah, so uh, there is a character Kumar Farhan. Farhan. Yes. His father is uh, he is only really obsessed by of making him an engineer. He's emotionally not literate, not understanding what Farhan does. Okay, so when I say emotional illiteracy, that's what I mean uh, in terms of the family. So not understanding. Okay, so I think we've lost the connection. <coughs> Enjoying so far? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, not good at academics. Okay, I'm sure, uh, like me, many of you will relate to this other than uh, academics. So, she was also not good in academics. academics. Slowly, slowly, because of all these things, she started moving into a shell. Shell yane, very limited friends, very shy, ya socially not very uh, active, okay, will we'll play with her set of friends, okay, that's what happened with her. Health condition was also eradicated, okay, mind, body is all connected, so if you're psychologically not there, body also throws up in many times, even if you're young. Age doesn't matter. Oh my God! Low self-esteem. Low. Everybody understands self-esteem. Yes. Yeah. The view about your own self. Who be low tha? Socially sly, shy, and clouded with fear. Oh man. Oh, this added uh, fill. Uh, what do you say? Uh, fuel to the fire. Graduation also not 
ऑफ आर चॉइस क्या होगा इसका सम हाउ मैनेज टू द एकेडमिक्स एंड ग्रेजुएशन तो कैसा तो भी कर लिया करेक्ट नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट डू यू थिंक वुड एव हैपन टू दिस गर्ल वाइल्ड गेस्ट and i want you to think only conventional i don't want any creative thinking looking at all these things kya hua marriage ha huh? marriage and that's <laughs> it okay what else career mein kya hua ha huh? not so successful married what else ha huh? Depression. What else? कुछ तो छोटा मोटा जॉब मिला होएगा, चल रहा होएगा कुछ तो. What else? What else? This side. हाँ? Writer should have been okay. So this been a little kind to her. चलो ये सब करके writer तो बनी होगी. Okay? MBA. Okay. Okay. Anything else? MBA. Anything else? Entrepreneur, MBA. Wow. I, I'm I'm surprised nobody said sales. <laughs> okay. And I'm also surprised nobody said HR. Okay. So what she became was oh. <laughs> she is currently a successful professional. Wow. वाह ये क्या हो गया ना सो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज व्हाट एंड लेट मी लेट मी टेल यू अ सीक्रेट ओके द स्टोरी इज नॉट अबाउट दिस गर्ल द स्टोरी इज अबाउट मी इट वाज नॉट अ फीमेल इट वाज अ मेल एंड दिस मेल इज मी It's a true story, and I'm really, really humble to share the story. And I wanted, as I said, I wanted to share something very, very real because I think uh, that is something extremely important. So something has worked, right? Because I'm standing in front of you. All the great things which uh, one of your colleagues introduced. I don't know. I was also finding it very difficult to relate to, and I don't know how I achieved it. But something has worked. Okay. So, what do you think? Of course, I'm going to share with you what has worked and how it happened. But I would like to understand from you what do you think? Now, I want you to think very clearly. What happened? It's a learning how to compromise. Huh? Learning how to compromise. Compromise, okay. Very good. So not being totally focused on the characters because you know, end of the day, life uh, is very holistic. It's not only the characters. Very good. Okay. What else? Believing. Okay, accepted the changes, being adaptable, agile. Okay, great. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. See, the mind, mind is 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 a very very uh, uh it's a double-edged sword. You know, it can take you deep down there and it can take you up there also. Yes, very good. I got some. Okay. Break up. Break up. Okay. Okay. Hard breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Start celebrating your success. I start celebrating your success. Started celebrating being myself. Yes. Yes. What else? What else? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to give up. Yes. So. Very good. I think all of you all have uh, 
attached to all, uh, all, all the things which, uh, which has helped me, honestly, right? And I believe it can help any one of us, right? I've done a lot of things which uh, has really, really helped me to get here, okay? What I have done is I have thought through that uh, what is it that has worked for me? What is it? I mean, till till now, till the time I have come and standing in front of you, I really not try to figure out. But for this lecture, I sat down and I said, I must encapsulate whatever has worked for me. Okay? So, so that, you know, all of you all are young, budding, right? And what I believe, friends, is all of us come through some difficulty of the other life. We all have seen some difficulty, some challenge in some form or the other, right? The fact that each one of you is sitting here is, 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 is the certificate that all of you all have done some sort of a struggle in coming. It's not easy to reach to here as well. Yeah, sitting in a B school, the first 12 B schools in the country, to be able to sit here itself is a very big achievement. Okay, so I said, uh, let me let me figure this out. Let me see what has worked, and let me share with all of y'all. Not that this is any prescription. Okay, this has worked for me. Okay, similar things. I want you to all of you to search what is working for you, right, and then incorporate that in your own life. So I have tried to put certain things in place. These are the four points, four, four or five points, I think, uh, if I look at it very, very broadly, has helped me. And I'm going to articulate what these things do. These things are not great things. These are not the things which you don't know. Okay, all of you all, I think, which is why I invited all of you all to talk about it and tell me that what do you think is work? It's, it's a culmination of all the things which you've been talking about. Really. So I'll tell you what it meant for me. The first one, determination to achieve my vision. Okay, so uh, when I was doing my graduation, it was in a college called Chetna College. Anybody from Bombay? Yeah, you all know Chetna College, Bandra? Okay. I used to do my graduation there with great difficulty. I got admissions there. And uh, if you guys know, Chetna has an MBA institute. Yes, sir. Yeah. So it, it used to be one of the top three institutes, institutes in Bombay, management institutes. And I used to look at the management students in awe. Right? And I used to tell my friends, one day I will do MBA. <coughs> and they all used to laugh at me. Ki graduation ka pata nahi. Right? I was studying in graduation, and I am talking about 1993, 1991. So that time, itne log MBA nahi karte. very, very privileged few who are academically very, very good used to do MBA. So they used to laugh at me. I was determined. I said, boss, ye karne ga. whatever it is, whatever it takes, I am not good in studies. Kuch no kuch karen. Right? So what I started doing, I started participating in debates. Everybody knows in college debates hota hai, and everybody knows that debates is a blow. Okay. Nobody wants to participate in debates. At least in those days, that used to be the fashion. Yeah, debate, debate, not cool. Debate was not so cool. But I understood that I could manage good communication. I was a good communicator always. So I said, I have to good chamega. I start participating in debates, elocution, planning forums, yeah, all these activities which I thought will help me to develop my personality. Because MBA ke liye, in our times, they used to say, "Cause personality correct chahiye. You should be able to talk, walk, sab style mein hona chahiye." Yeah. So, uh, so I started participating. I started working very hard. Okay, I also worked very hard on my English. 
English भी ठीक ठाक नहीं था होता है उस very very good school I studied in ICSC but English भी ठीक ठाक नहीं था because family background was very different so to get the right accent be able to speak in the flow I started talking to myself I remember in ninth I started talking to myself we all do self talks right yeah all of us if you observe you do self talks I started I converted that into English. In my standard nine, normally we do that in our mother tongue. So I made my mother tongue as English. Okay, because ninth में समझ में आ गया था कि boss studies में तो ठीक ठाक नहीं है. I've got a lot of flack for that. English अगर आया तो कुछ तो हो सकता है. And trust me, friends, trust me. I have always been privileged because of my English. Okay, so I think that was the first step towards the vision. Second was uh, okay. Before Chetna College, I was in Nasik. I was born and brought up in Nasik. My school was in Nasik. My eleventh and twelfth was in Nasik. Right. Very early, I realized Nasik me rene se kuch nahi ho sakta. I used to see people struggling. I'm sure a lot of you. Are not from Pune or not from metropolitan city, maybe from a smaller town, okay, from a smaller city. And all of you know what is the condition of employment there, especially for a middle class. So we all have to migrate. So in my twelfth, I decided to go to Bombay. Jaun. My father said, "Bombay, what will you do? I said, "Become a lawyer." So why do you want to go to Bombay? I said, "I want to go to Bombay because somewhere my intuitions told me that exposure is there." Right, exposure होता है. I was always on the lookout कि क्या age हो सकता है. What age can I get in myself? Right, I I was always mindful कि academics में interest नहीं है. अभी commerce लिया है. I wanted to do BA psychology. My father said, boss पागल है क्या? You will not get a job. At least B Com करके you will get a clerical job. Clerk तो बनेगा. तो B A करके क्या करेगा? So I was dissuaded. And made to take become become me. कुछ भी interest नहीं था. I figured it out. Numbers numbers. कुछ भी connect नहीं होता. Right. So I said I want to go to Bombay. With a great difficulty I came to Bombay. With a great difficulty I got admissions. Right. But लगा रहा. Then I started participating in uh, debates, elocution, all these things which are co-curricular. Sports में I used to be in sports, but एकेडमिक्स की जैसी डिंडोंग राइट खेला खेला नहीं नहीं लॉट फियर ये बॉल छूट गया कोई काटेगा तो नहीं वेरी सेंसिटिव ऑल दोस थिंग्स आल्सो केप्ट मी अवे फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स वेरी अनफॉर्च्यूनेट आई थिंक स्पोर्ट्स एनी स्पोर्ट्स में नहीं हो या ओ लॉट ऑफ यू लॉट वेरी लकी पीपल या बिकॉ and we had to work. I had to work very hard to be able to, uh, uh, you know, make that mental toughness which comes to the sportsman very natural. Yeah. So we see it in cricket. We see it in any sport. You see these guys. They don't give up. A sportsman thinks very differently as compared to the normal people. Yeah. So it's maybe name. So then co-curricular. Another thing which I did, friends, was I always. Kept company of people who are smarter than me, not double, triple, multiples of ten and fifteen. I mean, this this guy is going to be fifteen times better than me. Coffee time, we go Buddha banana. But I said, no, boss, I have to be friend of people who are much smarter. And, and I think I I continue that till date. Whoever you see as my friend is some big guy. So I think that is the vision, that is the determination which I had gathered at that point in time. So there are so many other things which I did with the vision. कि बॉस MBA करने का है, मैनेजर बनने का है. Okay, so uh, uh, my my family, as I said, we came from a very humble family, and you know, most of my My uncles, my father, they were in political jobs, and obviously they said that he will do it. But my dream was I wanted to be a manager. 
मैनेजर बनने के लिए आई हैव टू डू एम बी एज ऑल आई अंडरस्टूड एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इरा वेर वॉज नो डेट आई डोंट नो हाउ वी गैदर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन राइट वी हैड नो गूगल्स वी हैड वेरी फ्यू गुरूज और वेरी फ्यू पीपल हु गाइड अस बट सम हाउ वी मैनेज तो मेरे को समझ में आया कि मैनेजर करने का right second thing uh, is resilience everybody understands resilience yes, bouncing back <laughs> yeah i i remember a dialogue in a movie called sultan sabne dekhi hai sultan yes sir ah, sultan is again he says asli asli uh, asli kushti akhade mein nahi hoti hai asli asli kushti zindagi mein hoti hai zindagi bar bar patakti hai Okay, and okay, and how you bounce back is what life is all about. Okay, so when I look back, I think I was thrown thrown back umpteen number of times, umpteen number of times. But something in me kept me on, and I said I have to get going, and I bounce back every time I was thrown back. For example, after graduation, I couldn't afford to study any further. Right, my father had to retire untimely when I was in second year. So you know, the entire family said, "Boss, you don't have money. So maybe India, India, what are you talking about? You should start helping your father. You should, you should start earning." So I said, "I also thought, okay, what do I do? I took up a sales job because sales job, he, I thought, he, my personality improve will be because you need guts to do sales. And I'm talking about sales." कोल्ड कॉलिंग एनीबडी इज हर्ड ऑफ कोल्ड कॉलिंग या कोल्ड कॉलिंग यानी किसी को भी जाके बात करने का यू नीड टू गो इनसाइड दे शो यू आउट गाली देंगे या द काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट आई टू सेल वाज वाज यू नो समथिंग लाइक अ अर्थ बॉन्ड और समथिंग और अ यू नो अ फैक्स मशीन और समथिंग लाइक दैट देयर आई हैड टू जस्ट वर्क इन एंड स्टार्ट विद माय पिचिंग आई सेड यार इससे अपना थोड़ा पर्सनालिटी बढ़ेगा या आई डिड आई डिड अटेंड अ क्लरिकल जॉब यू नो देर इज अ कंपनी कॉल कैडबरीज वहाँ पे यू नो दिस क्लरिकल जॉब है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पे एंड यू नो ही वन पर्सन टू सम टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टू एक्सप्लेन मी दोल वाउचर सारा चक्रा गया बोला एक क्या है इधर से फाड़ने का इधर रखने का सो आई सेट आई कम फ्रॉम टू मॉट यू और जो फाटा आई नेवर वेन था आई सेट आई विल डू अ सेल्स जॉब so uh, so i was pushed back but in that one year i said i will come back and do mba i earned my fees for the first year right i did whatever it took i i kept my vision i did this job for a year i earned my first year fees i said baad ka baad mein dekhenge and i did my i took admissions okay in mba i did my mba I completed my MBA and it was the year 1997. If all you guys are following the economy, it was horrible at that time. We had only two companies coming for campus. So unlike Balaji, those days institutes didn't care. They said, "Boss, you have a degree. Now, if you get a job, 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 Okay, so no campus. It took me six months to find a job. Okay, six months. I think I would have attended at least thirty interviews. I used to go to these recruitment consultants, startup sales ka to training thai. Yeah, so every day in the morning I have to get up, go for interviews, go to talk talk to these consultants. It took me six months to get my first job. Yeah, but me data. I said I will. Start only as a management trainee. I will not take up any other job lower than that, and if possible, in a multinational. Took me six months, a lot of conviction, and a lot of hand-to-mouth situation. I can't even tell you what the kind of struggle I had. But I got my first job in a company called Emerk. I was a management trainee, and then in career, I never looked. Yeah. So that's resilience. instincts instinct is also something which helped me 
very, very strongly. Very strongly. Nobody believed that I could do anything in life except my own self. Yeah, they all had written me off. So the expectation was इसको नौकरी मिलेगा कि नहीं? That was the only expectation. Only I used to think कि मेरे को manager की नौकरी मिलनी चाहिए and I want ten thousand rupees salary. These two things were very clear to me in the year 1997. Right? Ten thousand was not a very great salary then. Yeah, but my entire family used to feel I deserve maybe. 1,500, 2,500. That's why I thought I, 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 you know, you know I deserve 10,000. So that was my mistake. So I ended up getting some 5,500 as salary, but I still took it up. It was a multinational. You know, I was a management trainee. All that happened. So believe your instincts. You have to believe your instincts. Nobody else will believe. People will tell you whatever. Doesn't matter. What matters is. What you believe in, yeah? <coughs> Vulnerability. What does that mean? <laughs> Vulnerability. <laughs> Exposed to risk. Yeah. What else? It's a very unique word. What else? Un. Unprotected. Okay. The meaning. But what does it mean in context of a personality? Yeah. Initiator. Initiator is saying, "Yeah, trapped by people. Huh? Helpless. Okay. Okay. So, friends, I'll tell you a new meaning of vulnerable. Vulnerable is being being human. Yeah. If if not being, uh, I mean, not being artificial, not being being real. Okay." When I used to go for interviews, I used to be real. I never gave any jargons. Okay, I said this is what I'm. This is what. Is. When I did friendship, I was very true, very real. Okay, so that's what I mean uh, by vulnerable. So it's a word which is uh, used normally as as you know. I took the examples. It's taken as a very weak word that as a. As a weakness, it's mostly taken as a weakness. I have found this to be very, very fruitful. I have found this to be a strength. Yeah, and then, then find your uniqueness. All of us are unique, right? Everybody believes that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Or ye shobazi ne, okay? All these things. All I mean, you guys have much more exposure now. Okay, ऐसा होना चाहिए, ऐसा बोलना चाहिए, ऐसे कपड़े पहनने चाहिए, ये करना चाहिए, वो करना चाहिए. You know, we tend to lose our uniqueness, and I had lost it for a very, very long time. I used to walk, I used to try to walk like somebody, talk like somebody, think like somebody, right? When I became a cocktail, अपने आप को खो दिया, नहीं तो, right? And it took me a while. I said, what am I doing? The day I accepted myself the way I am, where I was, I think that's the day it all turned around. Right? So I really do not try to be anybody. I only try to be myself, and I be proud of that. For many years, I was not proud. That is how I had a low self-esteem. So be, find your uniqueness. Be aware of your uniqueness. Be proud to be unique. Be proud to be yourself and evolve as your own self and nobody else. Okay. So together, I call it drive. Yeah. So the drive, the acronym D R I V E, is something which has worked for me. Yeah. And. Also, what has worked for me is the real drive. I never let the drive go within myself. Okay, and last but not the least, believe in magic. You never know what will turn it around. Okay, you never know what will work for you. You never know where you had started, and you never know where it will. Okay, yeah.
Everybody with me? Yes. So far? Okay. Let get, let's get a little corporate, uh, corporate now. Let's get a little into business. Everybody has heard of this word called competency? Yes. What does it mean? What does it mean? How, how would you define? How would you define competency? What is a competency? Okay, how would you define it? Ability. Ability, very good. What else? Capability. Efficient. Okay, what else? Ability to compete. Okay, what else? Give me a little. And I know you guys will learn all this now, but what does it mean? Huh? Ability to do a particular task. What else? Self-confidence, all pie in the sky. To be more efficient, do the uh, hardest task in the simplest manner. All I said, pie in the sky. It's not defining competency. Capability. Capability, okay. Potentiality. Potentiality, okay. Now let me let me help you. All of you are partially right, not completely right. Yeah. Competency means combination of knowledge, skills, and attitude. Knowledge, skills, and attitude. Okay. What is the difference between skill and knowledge? What is the difference? Huh? Very good, very good. You thought about it? You, uh, you read it somewhere? Okay, very good. See, when you start applying your knowledge, okay, for example, uh, you know how, you know that you have the knowledge about a car and how to drive a car and you start applying it continuously, you become a good driver. Yeah? So, that is how you become a competent driver. And why attitude? Attitude kyu joda hai? Why attitude is important in a competency? Personality is better. Why do you think attitude is a part of competency? And this word competency, I am telling you, is ko guard se bandh. This will remain with you till you retire. Okay, or till the time you are professional or you die. You guys have just entered the, uh, the industry. The entire life, wherever, whichever corporate you go, you will be hounded this with this word called competency. Okay, why attitude? I mean, somebody was talking about mind, right? Yeah? Yeah, somebody wants to answer. Why attitude is a part of competency? Attitude is the way we see things, see the things and take the decisions. Okay. It's the way how you do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Even if we have the will or knowledge, we need, even if we have the skill and knowledge, we need willpower to. Absolutely. Very close. See, attitude is very important. You might be very, very skilled, right? I'll give you an example. You have two drivers. One guy is an excellent driver, but very impatient and rash. Very, very ill-tempered, short-tempered. You have another driver who is not as, as skilled as the first one, but is very, very calm and patient. Whom would you choose? Second one. Yeah? Same, same, friends. The same is with your competency also. As a professional, a lot of emphasis will be given on your attitude. Right? It becomes a very important uh, part of your personality and it becomes a very integral part of your growth journey in an organization. Okay, which is why I wanted to delve and get you slowly into the pocket. Okay? So, 
Uh, what we do, I will not take you through all these complicated things. I will tell you the competencies I worked on when I started my career and the competencies I worked on at this stage of my career. Right? Should help you? Yes, sir. Yeah, because I am sharing my story to help all of you all take your own stories. Correct? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, the first thing, friends, as I entered, my story I had stopped in the time I got into the corporate. Correct? Yeah. So, what I developed is a, and this is what, as an HR professional, I also look at people. I mean, when we are doing hiring, this is what, when you have to give your campus, okay, at the end of the second year, this is what we look at. Go get what does it mean? Very easy to understand. Okay, never give up. Get the results you had set to get. Okay, planning, organizing, execution is also a very, very important ingredient or a competency which I felt is very, very necessary. I don't think I need to explain this. Analysis and solution focus. Okay, so when I look at my team, there are, or when I look at the corporate, there are two categories of people. Okay, one is a person who comes with a lot of problems. He is very good in telling you what are the problems. Okay, not enough, not appreciate. I don't appreciate anybody from my team coming and telling me all the problems in the world. Okay, what I appreciate is what are the solutions. Okay, my boss appreciates what are the solutions. The only, the only thing, the only opportunity I give him is, boss, these are four solutions, which one you want to choose? And if you give me a choice, this is what it is. Friends, it's extremely important in the corporate to be able to analyze and find solutions. Okay? So very important competency. Fourth one is communication, of course, everyone understands. So communicate to express and not to impress. Yeah, this is I'm sure all of you all understand this. Another very important thing is influencing states. Right? Not every time you will have the authority. Not every time you will be in a position, in a commanding position. Still, you have a lot of work to do with a lot of people. Okay? So, you have to be able to influence. You have to be able to give a lot of perspectives to the people you are working with. So, extremely important competency in the first five, seven, ten years of your career. Okay, when, even if you are an uh, individual contributor, even if you, I am talking about these competencies as you enter the organization, right? After that, uh, it's a buzzword, it has been a buzzword, it's very, very significant now, is customer centricity. Right? So much competition is there in every, every field that you have to be extremely customer centric and I am not talking about big things. I am not talking about the end customer. For example, I am an HR person. I am serving, let's say I am heading the function. I am serving, my key customers are 10, 15, 20 of them. Yeah? Leaders of all the functions and uh, you know people who interact with me on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, they are very important. I have to be, I have to be able to think from <coughs> their perspective, okay? And uh, the last one is, of course, interpersonal skills, right? I'm sure, are you all with me? Yes. Are you all getting what I'm saying? Yeah, this is very much in the beginning of your career. At this stage, once you finish 10 years, then a different level of competency, different level of attitude is required by the corporate, okay, to climb the ladders. 
collaboration skills. What does this mean? Collaboration. Any idea? What does this mean? Collaboration. Working together. Okay. Huh? Merging together. Merging together. Okay. Cooperation. Cooperation. Okay. Everybody is right. Okay. To cut the long story short, see as students, as as students today, all of you are. Basically measured on your individual performance, right? Yeah, you don't have to. I'm sure nowadays institutes are having a lot of uh, events or activities which make make your work in a team or you know work together, right? The institutes are realizing, but in corporate world, you come there. It's not about your performance. It's not about your individual performance. It's always a team. It's always an ability to collaborate with a lot of other people, yeah. Because organization, end of the day, what does it want? What does it want? Huh? Profits, results, right? They will not come by you alone because it's a huge, complex mechanism which has a lot of people. A lot of people are contributing towards it. A lot of times you tend to have a lot of contradicting targets. Yeah, the manufacturing person will say that uh, okay, you know I can only produce so much because I have these many issues. The sales guy says that if you don't produce for me, how can I sell? Right. So there are so many complex things which basically puts you into a contradicting thing at that point in time, right? When you are a manager or You know, heading some particular function, you have to be able to collaborate. Right? Another very important thing which I have learned is when you are managing a team. Okay, you are responsible to create a positive, and constructive, and a, a fair environment. Right? All of you all are going to become managers tomorrow after some years. All of you are going to have a team. When you have a team, what does it mean? To me, what it means is you have to create a fair and a very positive environment. And the responsibility is not of the organization; is lies directly with all of you. Entrepreneurial skills. What does it mean? Of course, it means decision making, owning up, right? The way I define it is. Whatever you decide, whatever you decide, whatever new idea or whatever, whatever you want to do, take it till the end. Okay, don't leave that particular thing till the end. For me, that is entrepreneurial skill. Execution excellence, of course, means you know don't leave it till the time everything is uh, executed. Strategic thinking is something. Uh, Becomes very very important once you get into a senior role to be able to look not only for today but two three four five six years. के बाद क्या हो सकता है? All that and uh, always challenge the status quo. Okay, always challenge the status quo. I was talking to Bala sir when I came here and before I came here I was talking to him and he says I have the great responsibility. Of uh, promoting graduates into professionals, right? So once you all become MBAs, you demand big salaries, no? Right? No, all of you who want to have big salaries. Okay. Now, when we look at you, we see what is the value you can add. If I have to pay you ten lakhs, I will see whether you can add value worth cross, right? And how do you get that? By doing each and every activity, creative, challenging everything, adding value wherever possible. Yeah. Okay. So, end my end my talk with uh, I have got an amazing video. This uh, video talks about celebrating yourself. Uh, courtesy, this this video we had made. Uh, then I was in Delhi, 
okay and i find whenever i am in the middle bit of a low i look at this video so i wanted to share this video with all of you yeah any have the audio yes संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़कर मत भागो तुम कुछ किए बिना भी जय जयकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों को Yes, friends are. 
Okay, this is this is a very very important uh, question. This is a very very important challenge which many of us face. All of us, if you ask them, everybody has got a value. To it, yeah? So the way I look at it is being sensitive is not always a weakness. It's also a strength. Okay. Have you heard a word called empathy? Yes, sir. What does it mean? Empathy. Other person's shoes. Yeah? Only sensitive people can do it more easily. Okay, so if you ask me honestly, uh, being sensitive is also a very, very big strength. It's not always a weakness. Yeah? Of course, it takes a little more time to come out as compared to others if you are emotional and sensitive. But uh, the way I worked over it was, uh, I take it as my strength. I, I, it helps me to connect better to people, to understand people. So, so I think uh, the way I have overcome is I have seen it as, as my strength. Again, not as my So the way I looked at it, I think it's changed the way. You know, it's not an obstacle for me anymore. It's my strength. Yes. Anything else? If everybody listen to his question, I'm sure it will help all of you. Sir, so the yeah. yeah. See, all of us, when we work in the organizations, we have internal customers. For example, I'm in HR. For me, my internal customer are my employees. Right? I also have an external customer, but I also have an internal customer. Okay? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. See, for example, manufacturing, production department, for them, sales is their customer. Even if they are internal, they are customers. Not, see, there is a big chain. Okay, uh, you know, somebody gets the raw material, the raw material gets manufactured, the manufacturing gets sold. So, the external customer only sales is facing, essentially. But, there is a lot of other people who are involved in the entire game. All of them have customers. Like all of us have customers. So we, when we recruit people, we take care of people, they are customers. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so my question is, you made a communication skill by talking to yourself in English, but yes. how did you come out of your shell? Did you form them from childhood? Okay, so very good question. Right? So what happened was, uh, there was an image which I was trapped into when I was in the school. Okay, so, and I was stuck to that image. Everybody, when it was me, they knew this is the way he will behave. Right? But when I changed my, when I came to college, nobody knew, nobody knew what I was. Okay, so I saw it as a big opportunity. I said, I will rebuild my image. This time, it is going to be the way I want. Right? Because if I suddenly start talking to everybody, nobody knows that I'm a quiet person. Or I don't really talk to anybody in school. So, I changed my image by getting into a new environment and uh, that was a bold step to be, you know, to not be in your comfort zone. So I made a lot of friends. Anybody and everybody was my friend. I started, in fact, I remember when I was in 11, I participated in a drama. 
Okay, so I think that was the first time I went on the stage and I acted. And, okay, I did everything which I was not comfortable with. And because nobody knew me, nobody could figure out what is going on. Right? Sometimes that also gives us a lot of pressure. Ki people are evaluating me. So because nobody knew me, nobody was evaluating me. So my, my struggle was my own. And even if I failed, nobody would have known. So probably that something worked for me. Good evening, sir. Sir, as uh, you have studied psychology, so we would like to know that how psychology helps in management and if uh, as, so which type of book should we read for that? See, uh, in management, in management, friends, in management uh, or in organizations, okay, we are all working with people, right? Yeah. So it's extremely important to understand people, and more than people, it's very important to understand your own self, right? So I think uh, how you understand yourself, you may read a book of psychology, you may you know reflect, you may do some training. Different people will learn differently. I learned by studying psychology because I, I had a passion for the subject. The books which I read was, I remember the first book which really, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed reading was Napoleon Hill's Seven Laws of Success. It was an old book lying in my home somewhere. It was, it was supposed to be given the scrap. Uh, it and then I started reading the book of songs, then I read Awaken the Giant Within, then I read Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. I mean, you pick up any self-help book and you understand it to the core, any book, all the books, I think, talk the same thing. And if you apply all the principles, I think it helps. It helped me at least. Is that possible to get an assistant management job by your office? And what are the points to be, uh, sir, we have to gain in ourselves to be an assistant manager in our first Okay, so another very important question. Yeah, she's saying, can I be assistant manager or can I be a manager in my very first job? Yeah? Yeah, so all of you all, even I had that, uh, uh, I would call it a myth, yeah, that if I do management, I am eligible to become a manager, correct? Yeah? But life is not, uh, uh, what I am saying is, life is not a magic wand. Okay? Everything comes, everything comes, everything has a very logical sequencing. Right? So, if you ask me my view, you should go for what role you are getting. What is the role? Don't get carried away by titles. Okay, many organizations call their managers as CEOs. And many organizations they call their general managers as managers. Titles are nothing but some of us sit together and we decide that we should do this. It's as simple as that. Okay, so my submission to all of you when you are seeking for jobs, look at the goal. Look at the opportunities you are going to get to do that job. Okay. Figure out what is it that you want to do in the long term. After 5 years, 10 years, what is it that, what is your calling? What is it that you want to do? Right? And see how that goal is connecting to that bigger goal. Now don't go by titles. 
don't go by salaries for the first five years. My very humble submission. Right? It's a it's a cross country race. It's a marathon. Career is a it's not a short race. It's not that you know hundred meters ka race kar It's not that. It's a long term race. You're going to be working for another 25, 30 years. So so look at the bigger picture. Okay, and don't get carried away by titles. Titles could be anything. In one of my organizations, we used to call uh, all the people who are individual contributors, we used to call them specialists. Didn't mean anything and everything. Okay, so organizations will have all these philosophies and will have all these titles. My humble submission is don't get carried away. See, kya karne ko mil hai? Mera role kya hai? Emphasize on that. And whatever clicks with you, clicks with you, go ahead. Go. Good evening, sir. My name is Ashish Rasta. And my question is, as a manager, what health step should I take to create a positive environment? Okay, what steps you should take to create, as a manager, what steps I should take Positive. See, very important is uh, personal connection with each of the team members, each of the person you are working with. You should know what that person is. Okay. Second is being fair. Many times when you are a manager, you know it gets really confusing. You can't be fair to everybody. Right? You have to uh, you take, look a little uh, you know, what to say, uh, partial towards something or something like that. You have to take extra efforts to be fair to a person. You know? So fairness, individual understanding, imbibing a team spirit. Okay, see it's like, see it's like a cricket team. Cricket team, yeah. So, uh, some of the captains are very, very good. Like Dhoni is, is appreciated for his yeah. captaincy. Forget the performance he showed in the World Cup. But he's been a good captain, right? Yes, okay. So you look at any captain, whatever he does, so sometimes they pick up in the field, sometimes they you know, do a lot of things on the field, sometimes they reprimand also, sometimes they, uh, they give take risks also. So all these things, it's a, it's a little bit of complex thing, but uh, Basically, if you do all these things, it creates a positive impact. Thank you, sir.